I was just thinking like, man, YouTube is freaking hard. Ladies and gents, I am Jalen Renee. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so today's video is really, really random. Um, it is currently what time is it? 8:22. I know I'm always super up close to the camera, guys. I just it's a thing I do. But anyway, it's 8:22 at night. And I was just laying in my bed. Um, Jay asleep. Jay's doing his own thing. And I was like, hmm, I really feel like playing in makeup. Um, I'm really bored. So let's just grab out some makeup. But I was grabbing the as I was grabbing the makeup, I'm like, hmm, I should just hop on camera. Um, I'm actually doing some planning for next month. Um, seeing you know what sponsor content i have that i need to put out and things like that trying to plan videos and stuff and i was just thinking like man youtube is freaking hard <laughs> so um i said why not just get on front of the camera play in the makeup that i wanted to play in and talk about youtube so um as you guys can see i do have a base on so this is basically what i wore today i did have lashes on with it but this is basically my face not the best I honestly we just had family day so i wasn't like trying to get beat for the guys or anything like that but um again it's not my best um it has been a couple of hours and obviously it's eight at night so like my makeup is like you can see some oil coming through but what i want to really practice is um the black smoky eye so like i just kept my face on like i literally was going to take it off and do it all over but i'm like no i'm not really like doing a makeup tutorial or anything i'm just going to be ranting so let's get started <laughs> so youtube is hard and I'm not saying that as if like I thought that YouTube was easy because I mean starting out it was hard as heck like I didn't have the software I needed uh, didn't have the equipment I needed I do still need a lot of equipment like the biggest thing that I'm missing is a Mac um, I have an iPad and that's literally what I edit my videos on guys um, I do have a good camera, but um, it took me a while to get those things, you know, and to really be able to be like, okay, I'm going to invest in this and do this. Um, but I think that a lot of people, you know, just from the outside looking in, they kind of think hmm, YouTube is easy. Like, it's not really that big of a deal. You get in front of the camera. Like, you, you buy an expensive camera and you buy, like, maybe a ring light and it's all good. And, like, that is not the case, literally. Like, I remember when um, I purchased my Canon and I was just kind of running with, oh, I'm going to just turn it on and, like, the settings are going to be perfect and it's just going to adjust to the lighting and that's definitely not the case. Um, there's so much research and there's so many things that you can do for different settings, for a different look. Um, I'm not going to get into all of that because I'm still learning a lot of that myself. But yeah, it's, it's a lot to learn um, from all different angles. Now... Oh, by the way, this video is not going to go in any particular order. I'm literally just ranting, um, verbalizing what's in my head right now. I, I like to call them brain dumps because I'm a type of person that I can think about numerous things at the same time in my head. And sometimes it just gets overwhelming. 
uh, because I'm not speaking it. I'm not verbally letting it out. So um, that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I think at this point in um, my YouTube experience being on YouTube, you know, um, I am absolutely still growing um so my goal is to um hit a thousand subscribers by december um i want to hit my thousand like i'm gonna do what i need to do <laughs> to hit my thousand subscribers now um for some people that goal might be kind of like outrageous or they might be like there's no way you're going to make it but I just feel like it's an appropriate goal for me especially with me being a pre-planner um, and things like that. I like to pay attention to what's going on, what everyone is doing that way I can kind of stay in the loop. Um, that's one of the things I have learned about YouTube that you absolutely have to do that like you have to stay in the loop because something that you may think might be cool like or might be appealing to your audience they might be a it might be appealing to them but if you do something that's trending or that's really really current they are more likely to gravitate towards that content first and then maybe go back you know to the content you thought was going to be cool and popping or whatever. So it's a, um, what I've learned, I'm grabbing a brush guys. What I've learned with like being on YouTube and stuff is that the thing that pops or the thing that does good on your channel may not necessarily be what you, um, think is going to be the popping video or that you think is going to do really good like I know I've done videos and I'm like yes this this is going to be the one this is it like and not necessarily like yeah this is it it's going to go viral but this is it I'm going to get you know a, a good amount of views on it and I mean obviously that ranges for everybody depending on um you know how many subscribers you have who you know how many people watch your videos and things like that um as a small youtuber i have like what six i say 660 um subscribers right so like to me a, a video has done good once it hits 100 views like that's just my personal goal now um and i that's not based on like the percentages or anything like that um impressions percentages it's not based on anything any of those it's just an a personal thing for me like i want at least a hundred people to watch this video and like get something out of it and actually like it now i would not be honest if i didn't say that when i post the video and it doesn't hit my like it it doesn't hit my goal um, that I'm not bummed out just because of all of the work that you put in, the time that you put in. Like, I don't think people realize until you start really doing it, it's not like just hopping in front of a camera, pressing, pre pressing play, and then uploading it. Like, it's just so much more to it. I know, um, I personally filmed some really, really good videos and made some really, really good content, but the lighting might not have been the best. Um, the placement might not have been the best. Um, you know, it, it just is just so many factors that can make all of the difference. And I think the thing that sucks for me is like, <laughs> you can come up with this idea yourself like as a small youtuber you can come up with an ideal and i feel like this is especially in the beauty world you can come up with an ideal and like <laughs> you not get recognition for it and like your views aren't high but someone else that's like really really well known or just someone else regardless can do it and they get like all this recognition they get you know oh that you know you did this is really cool that you did this when 
in reality they know they really didn't create it um i feel like we can't pretend as small youtubers that um other youtubers aren't watching i feel like if they aren't that's crazy because they really should um but i feel like a lot of bigger youtubers get a lot of their ideals from smaller youtubers and i know um i'm not gonna say all of them don't shout shout people out because a lot of them do like if they do get an idea or if they get inspiration from a smaller youtuber they will you know some of them some of them will shout them out and you know give give credit where it's due but it's it's just i've seen i've literally seen it happen where um you know a bigger youtuber has done something um because they were inspired by a smaller youtuber but they don't really announce it like <laughs> they really don't make it known so let's stop and go to this eye for a minute guys i have been trying to like master this black eye thing for so long and i always suck at it like i don't know what it is i don't know what i'm doing wrong i probably should have did the transition first but like with black being such a dark shade i feel like it needs to be all blended out like i feel like you need to lay the black first and then you know blend the transition in there i just never can get this eye right i never can get this eye right i always look crazy <laughs> when i do it so yeah but anyway um so my biggest i think my biggest thing is i try to support everyone like i don't care if you create the same videos that i create um i don't care if you have more subscribers than me i support everyone i you know i try to watch people's videos i i do my best to comment on you know content because i'm a true youtuber watcher like i watch youtube more than i watch regular tv like that's a fact so like if I come across somebody's channel and it's something that I'm interested in, um, I will watch. And even if I feel like it's something that I'm not interested in, I at least try to watch one or two videos to see maybe if it's just something I don't know about or that I'm not aware about that I may become interested in. So I think that's important that for us to do too um, because some people like oh no i don't i don't like cooking videos so i'm not going to watch that well you don't really know you could learn a few things so i try to give everyone um a chance when it comes to that now i also was in i have joined like uh youtube groups on facebook um <laughs> a waste of time a waste of time like uh it, it the sad part about it is it really really could work but people are insecure people have low self-esteem and all in all people don't do what they say they're gonna do and that's the sucky part like i'm literally dedicated to doing what i said i was gonna do i try my best to make sure that i do that but everyone isn't like me and i have to understand that but i had to separate myself from like those groups and i remember i was on like a watch time chat and all of a sudden like my watch hours and even my subscribers start going down so i don't know what youtube felt i was doing but i hurried up and got out of that because i'm like uh-uh <laughs> i don't know what's happening or why it's happening but i'm not gonna mm -mm, i'm not gonna do this so it's like i feel like youtube um it can get frustrating at times because one they changed they changed the requirements so much and that's what um someone pointed out to me like 
every time they change the requirements and then not only that the requirements can get a little bit confusing depending on like what you use to track the requirements and what um, software you're using to track the requirements and the verbiage is it, it can get really confusing and sometimes like when you feel like you made it they still say oh you're missing something and it's like really what am I missing like so it can get confusing there but I think the the most confusing part about it is that they keep changing the requirements that's why it's my goal to hit the requirements by December because I feel like especially during this like quarantine time I feel like a lot of people went for YouTube like even me like I had a channel like I mean I had my channel created and I had like probably one or two videos uploaded but um uh, pre-quarantine because I was like I want to get into YouTube I really want to do it and I was kind of doing it like in my spare time or whatever um, not really taking it serious just doing it but I think once quarantine hit a lot of people had what I had in mind like oh this is my chance to really get on upload dedicate myself to it so I, I honestly guys I feel like next year they're gonna change the requirements again I really feel like that because you have a ton of new people hopping on um doing progressively good like i can say shout out to y'all for sticking there with me um i can say that i'm doing progressively good as far as like you know gaining subscribers but not only that um creating content that you guys really like to watch and you guys really like to see and like i always say in all my videos um if there's something, a video you want me to make, something you want me to review, or a video idea that you have, please comment below and let me know because I will definitely do it. But, um, yeah, I feel like they're going to change the rules again and it's just going to be so annoying. It's going to be so annoying. Hopefully not. Hopefully it stays um, the way that it is now. Um I mean, the only way that I would be happy that it changed is if the requirements were lower. <laughs> but I don't think they're going to go lower than what, you know, what they already are uh, currently. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy because um, when I did start uploading consistently I was realizing that like hey people were like really watching my videos but they weren't subscribing like why aren't you subscribing and I think that sucks because it's like come on okay you're giving me watch time but just subscribe I mean if you're gonna watch the whole video you like something about me like even if you feel like you don't like me something about me is intriguing to you so just subscribe just subscribe um, I know personally if I start watching someone and um, I watch and watch and watch and watch like I'm definitely gonna subscribe <laughs> Like, I'm definitely going to subscribe, especially if you are a small YouTuber. Like, I'm not going to do you like that. I'm not going to do you like that. Um, and literally, sometimes there's days, like, I literally try to plan out days where I just sit um, for a few hours and watch YouTube. And I hit the subscribe button. So, the people that I'm subscribed to, I hit the button. And I literally just watch like I watch to give as many people watch time hours as possible like I will watch um the smaller YouTube tubers that I follow videos first and then of course I'm gonna go into those larger uh YouTubers that I follow and you know watch their videos as as I would like you know what whatever is appealing to me at the moment so but yeah, YouTube is not a game and I can appreciate it because I'm learning so much. I think the most important thing about this is um, getting a network of people you trust and people that support you and vice versa and really just learning from each other, uh, piggybacking ideals off of each other. Um, you know, I, I, I say it again, Jayla's course. Um, I was able to meet Sheena and we have been like 
<laughs> tight ever since this girl has helped me um in so many ways with youtube from my lighting i know y'all see my videos look better now um but and just with simple things that you know things that she knew that i didn't know that were simple like simple things that she wasn't afraid to tell me because she didn't feel um like I was in competition with her she didn't feel anything she was willing to share that with me and the same thing for her you know I know she knows a lot more than I do honestly because there's a lot that I have not researched which I I try to I beat myself up for that because I need to do better with that but you know it, it really comes from a place of wanting to help and I think that's important I think that's important when building a YouTube um, because these first few thousand subscribers like honestly those are the subscribers that are probably gonna watch every single one of your videos when you get bigger like those are the true people that are gonna be there with you because they're more than likely I mean they're whoever's watching your videos now like are <laughs> the people that's gonna be watching your videos later now you know once you become a little bit more popular you might become a household name then you'll have these people come you know that you they might not engage as much or you know they might watch a video here and there but honestly I, I, I truly honestly believe your first thousand subscribers or maybe even your first two thousand are the ones that are like got your back period <laughs> they got your back so um yeah i i i really honestly feel that so these you know your first your first uh one to two two thousand subscribers are important and um you know and most likely too they're gonna be other small youtubers <laughs> so why not take advantage of that and piggyback from each other and learn from each other i know um i always mention um that i know a lot of the ladies that are subscribed to me now are also small youtubers so for me like as i'm thinking like okay giveaways i can give away cash money be or an amazon gift card because small youtubers need ring lights they need certain camera equipment they need tripods or i think of like makeup and stuff to give away because i know a lot of the small youtubers that follow me are also into makeup they're into beauty and things like that so i try to um I try to make it where we can all benefit from it especially my content I try to you know make it and one thing about me um, and this is another thing I need to get better at collapse like first of all if you're interested in collabing with me hit me up I love collabs I think they're so fun um, and I haven't done in one in a while so uh, but anyway I love collabs and I think that's important too so let me go back so not only is your first one to two thousand subscribers your loyal subscribers um, and not only are they more than likely also small youtubers um, and not only do they probably also create the same content as you they also need the same things you need such as more subscribers such as uh, tips and tricks with lighting uh, cameras uh, backdrops things like that they also probably need video ideas you know what I mean they it, why not create a trusting circle and help each other like honestly i really feel like that's the missing component to a lot of us uh, smaller youtubers who have a ton of potential um i feel like that's where we lack because we don't take the time to get together and do things together and on one accord um and i feel like other communities are successful more than us because of that mm. that's tea <laughs> that's tea but it's true uh, because they are willing to help they're willing to lend out the hand and say here I got you let me show you what to do let me let me help you out let's collab let me put you on this platform let me put you on that platform and one thing 
no one can say about me is that I don't try to put everybody on like even if you don't know that I'm trying to put you on more than likely I am like I reach out to people constantly like uh, for example when I did my last giveaway um, I asked the company that sponsored that giveaway if I can um, you know tag along some other uh, youtubers that I knew to get them exposed and they ended up posting the post on their page and I don't know if all the ladies saw that or not but that was huge like that's the type of stuff we need and I I did that because I wanted to do that because why why would I just put myself on like okay it is important to put yourself on it is important to shout yourself out and be present with yourself but I think it's also it'll always come back around on you and good um, if you do, if you're doing it genuinely if you're doing it sincerely um, if you're not trying to get something out of it just doing it to get something out of it you know if you really genuinely want to help people and that's me all day period <laughs> that's me all day y'all already know that's what I'm here for that's what I build my brand on especially women empowerment women inspiration women encouragement like Female positivity, I'm for that. Nobody can say that I'm not. Anybody that tells you I'm not is a lie because, baby, I 100% am. So, okay, so let's get into this eye because what is happening? I, look, look, it's like not even blending. I don't know what I do wrong with this. I guess it doesn't look bad, but I want it to look a little bit more smoky. Like, I just don't know. Maybe I need to stop trying to do it like other way. I, um, I need to do it the way that I am used to doing my eyeshadow. So I probably should have just laid my transition first and then went in with the black. But guys, I struggle with this eye and it's so crazy to me. I don't know. I don't know. And I don't want it to look like I just got black glob. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. Um, I used the LA Pro, LA Girl Pro Artistry Palette. And I used the color Sleek for the black and then I used um, Savvy, I used Finesse and Champion. So this is Champion, Savvy and Finesse. So I don't know guys, we, <laughs> mm, uh -uh. this is a fail. <laughs> I always fail doing this. I don't know why, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Um. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Let me get a fluffier brush. Let me reiterate too. I'm not going anywhere. So <laughs> I'm literally just playing in makeup. And sorry if you guys hear the washer. But hey, gotta do laundry. So. And it's so crazy because I watch people do this all the time because I always want to master it and it's so effortless. They're like, it's so easy. Like, what? I wish it was easy. Because your girl is struggling. I'm gonna go grab some liner literally have like foundation and stuff and everything over here like I was literally gonna take my base off and I'm like no because I'm practicing right now and let's just talk you know so let me do this liner camera died 
bag. <laughs> and I thought, I literally, where is the camera on here? I thought that um, I had some charge, but I don't. So I'm just gonna end this here because here's the eye. Um, I don't know, like I really need to figure out what I need to do. <laughs> I look a mess right now, but I really need to figure out how to get this uh, black smoky eye mastered. Like I really, really wanna master it. I'm gonna keep practicing until I get it. I mean, not tonight, but I practice another time, obviously. But yeah. Um, so I'm just going to end this vlog by saying YouTube is hard, but it is very doable. Um, I am absolutely 100% enjoying it. I'm going to absolutely 100% stay dedicated to it. Um, I think doing Vlogtober this month has showed me that I really can do this like because uploading every day, planning it out, like obviously my videos are pre-recorded, guys. Like I'm not, no, I can't do, I'm a mom, okay? Uh, there's no way possible I will be able to do like every day, like live, like, you know, like I can't do that. But they are pre-recorded and um, I do have them aligned in purpose, if that makes sense. So, um, but yeah, YouTube is not easy but it is very doable it is very rewarding what i like about youtube so far is the relationships that i'm creating the things that i am learning and just being able to build my build my brand every step of the way um i'm loving all of the companies that i've worked with so far as far as sponsorships and things like that i'm so excited and um, all of them always come back and tell me how much they love the content that I've created and they are really patient with me. They're understanding. Um, but it just makes me feel good when they, you know, love it and they, I always get good feedback from them. And I love it when you guys love it too, obviously. Like, and again, anything you guys want me to review, anything that's hot on the market, any videos that you may see other people doing that you watch if you're not necessarily a youtuber let me know i got you girl i got you <laughs> okay so again i'm gonna end this vlog i'm about to take this off because this ain't it i think i actually like this eye better than this one um probably because i messed up on a liner over here because i got that stupid wet and wild one but um yeah i'll try all right, guys, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.